everybody out there in the land of YouTube and welcome back to Billmeister Productions. Today we're going to be carrying on with the vegetarian theme. We're going to be making Richmond's meat-free bacon rashers. So I'm very excited to see what these are going to taste like. I'm just going to do a basic bacon sandwich today on toasted bread. Um, and we're going to give these a try. Um, and if they're anything like the last meat-free burger that we had, um, then I'm excited to see what these are going to be like. So we've got some very basic ingredients here. We've just got two slices of bread. I've got my bacon rashers here. Uh, loved by the whole family for over 130 years. Okay, so it, it says to cook on the hob, pan fry in a little preheated oil on a medium heat for three to four minutes. Turning occasionally. Okay, so I've got my butter, I've got my bread, let's get the pan on the go. Okay, so the bacon butty is cooked. Um, it looks pretty good. Um, well, the sandwich does anyway. Um, but the individual slices, mm, they're a bit, they're a bit firm and solid. Um, I mean, they look, they look like bacon. They're not smelling it too much now. Um, let's just try a bit on their own. See what they break off like. So it breaks off. It's got a bakery taste to it. Um, it says these are seasoned meat-free smoked bacon style slices made with rehydrated textured soya and wheat protein. Um, I don't know. I don't know, you know. They're not as nice as real bacon. I mean, they're okay. I'm not gonna rave about them or anything like that. I don't know whether I'd buy them again, to be honest. Uh, let's try them with a bit of tomato sauce on my sandwich. You get that? Like I say, they're okay. Um, I don't think I'd have them again, to be honest. Um, in the last video, we cooked the meat-free burger, the 100% plant-based burger, and that, when you were eating that, you couldn't tell that it wasn't real meat, honestly. It was a beautiful, beautiful burger. Whereas with this, um, I don't think I'd have it again, to be fair. I wanted a lot more from it, um, than what it than what it is. And in fairness, you know, I know that they're trying to replicate bacon, but I think 
I don't think it really should matter for a vegetarian whether you're replicating, replicating bacon. I think if you can make something that you can cook, um, similar to a bacon butty, I suppose, um, then if it tastes good, it's fine. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to look like bacon and smell like bacon and this, that and the other. If it's something that you can just pan fry and it, and it tastes nice and it's plant-based, then I'd try it. I'd try it, honestly. But this... Oh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. I wouldn't buy it again. I wouldn't, wouldn't have it again, unfortunately. I suppose they're more healthy than, than normal bacon, but yeah, I'm going to finish it, but uh, it's not, I can't recommend it to anybody, to be honest. They're a bit, the pieces of bacon are just a bit hard, you know what? a bit too solid I don't know whether I've overcooked them they did, I did notice that they were you know quite easy to burn on the pan um, but it's just the texture it's not you know it's not soft and juicy like normal bacon so I am a little bit disappointed to be fair um, I was expecting a little bit more from them but by all means if you're out and about and you fancy trying them and getting your opinion, put put a comment in the uh, in the comments section. Let us know what you think of them. If you've tried them before, I mean, let us know if you think that they're great and they're a great alternative to to real bacon. Um, but yeah, a little bit of disappointed with that today. Um, I was expecting a little bit more. Um, and unfortunately, um, meat-free burgers, fine, but meat-free bacon. There are other brands, and I will try other brands. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to let this, this put me off. Uh, there are other brands that do the meat-free bacon. So, in fact, I was in Asda today, and they've got loads of things that are, are, are meat-free and pro-vegan and all that sort of, sort of stuff. So... Richmond, meat-free, bacon rashers. Bit of a thumbs down, to be honest. Bit of a thumbs down, I'm afraid. Um, you'd eat it if you were desperate. Um, and to be fair, I'm not too desperate. I've got some real bacon in the fridge. Um, okay, so if you like the content, um, like and subscribe. And uh, I will see you on the next one. Take care. Come on, Roxy. So this bacon, come on. Plant-based plant bacon, come on. Time for the taste test. What do you reckon, Roxy? Well, the dog wolfed it down.